Hey, this is Joe from Personas. With Studio One version 6, we came out with a new feature called Track Presets. Now, you may be familiar with the idea of saving an effects chain, which is saving a several different plugins on a single channel. Track Presets take that to a next level. It's a companion to the Templates feature, but I believe it has a certain place that it makes a lot of sense, and it does things that the Template feature cannot do. So, for example, if you were to send me a bunch of tracks in a zip file to mix... Um, what I would do first is I would come over here to my mix template, give it a great name, and I would open up a new song with this template. Now, my template is my starting point. It's not completely blank. It's got some things there that I like to use. It has all of these uh, folder tracks, and they're the color that I want. Each of these folder tracks is connected to a bus that I've created uh, over here. So I've got these folders and these buses connected, and then these over here are my different reverbs and delays that I go back to time and time again. And then each bus has, there's no processing yet. None of, the, none of this is doing anything to the sound, but this is the compressor I like to use, this is the EQ I like to use, and it's there waiting for me to add, to turn the EQ on or to start boosting and cutting when I get tracks in here. So if you sent me tracks, I would drag them into this bottom section. Uh, let me see if I have an audio file I can show you. Of course I don't. Uh, surely I have an audio file in here. Here we go. There's a Revelator mic test. So I drag the tracks into Studio One, and then I take that track and drag it into its appropriate folder. So if it's a drum track, I drag it here. And then two things happen, which is very cool. It changed it to the color of the folder, which, by the way, you can do that by coming up to your settings. Go to, uh, where is it? Go to General. No, go to Advanced under Editing, and you'll see this... Uh, this setting right here, apply track, I'm sorry, apply folder track color to content. That's how you get it to do that. People ask me sometimes. Your answer is almost always in one of those settings. It's either in that preference window or it's in this little wrench area. There's a different one for the mixer as well as the arranger. Um, okay, so it does that, but it also takes that track and it routes it to the drum bus. So by putting it into that folder, it goes ahead and routes it to the drum bus. Super handy, allows me to get my mixes set up quickly. This is all well and good if I'm starting from scratch, but what if I'm working on a project and I've already started mixing, but I wanna bring something from one song to the other? Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've got this song over here, okay? It's a mix that is well underway. I've got plenty of plugins and stuff in place. Um, what if I wanted to, uh, let's say I wanted to, I've mixed another song on the same band and I want to apply those settings into this track. How do I do that? Well, there's there's a few ways that you could do that. You could copy and paste the settings one by one. You could save the settings as individual, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, 10 individual like effects chains, but then that doesn't save the fader levels, it doesn't save the I don't think it saves the gain knob at the top and doesn't give you sends. So it's not really a, a, the perfect solution. You could do import session data, which can work, but it just takes a little while. So this is a way to, let's say, let's flip it around. Let's say we want to create a track preset from this that we want to bring into another session. So the first thing we do is we select all of these, come up to the track menu, and you'll notice there is a new feature called store track preset. So we're going to call this... Um, uh, drums, because that's the that's the name of the song. Can I let go? It's got one folder track, eight audio tracks, and I'm gonna save that into folder that I created for myself called Joe. Okay, so we've saved that. Now let's pretend that we're in a new song and we want to bring those track presets in. How do we do that? There's a couple ways we can do it, but the easiest way, at least for me to start, and you'll want to play around with this and see what way works best for you. But I would come to the Add Tracks menu. And you'll notice now when you go to this, and you can get here by just pressing T on the keyboard, there's a load track preset button. That's new. We click that, we now can see all of our track presets. And down here in the bottom, we can see that my drum track preset is here. And it tells me exactly what's included. So when I say OK, check out what happens. Actually, let's, uh, let's deselect this track. Actually, let's just say OK, hit OK. All right. Now you can see it's created a new drum folder. And if we zoom out, you'll see it's got all of these tracks here. And if we open it up, we can see it's brought in everything. Now, let's say, for example, there were no sins here, so that's a bad example. Let's, uh, let me remove all of these for a second. Let's just assume for argument's sake that we had this going to like a room reverb um, as well. 
um, that would have saved and that would have also been brought in. But now you can see, you may think, okay, Joe, so what's the point of bringing these in? Well, here's how I would use that. Um, we go load track preset, bring in the drums, and it creates this new batch of channels. Okay, for right now, they're on the far end. We can move them wherever we want, but now we can kind of pick and choose which elements of this, because I never probably mix two, two drums, even from the same album, the exact same way, but it is nice to have a starting point. And if I've already, like I recorded the project and I've already done a lot of the work, it might make sense to bring in these tracks and then say, okay, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna take my, my audio tracks here, I'm gonna select everything here, and I'm gonna move them up here. So you see what happened? I just moved these tracks from their previous channel onto this new channel, which has all of the settings that I liked from my previous mix. So it's kind of a, this is probably, I'm sure the folks in Germany are rolling their eyes at me because it's a little bit of a clunky workflow, but this is how I would use it. I would use it to bring in channels that I like from other songs um, and as a way of kind of turning this into a template without having to stop everything, export all my tracks, import them back into a new template. That's a workflow that would not be fun or make me happy at all. So here's another way of thinking about um, these track templates. Let's create a brand new, just a brand new blank session. Sorry, these track presets. What's really cool is we have a bunch that are there for you already. Um, but you can create your own. Now, from a front-end standpoint, from a creating music, from a production standpoint, this can be probably even cooler than what I just showed you. So let's say we want to bring in, we want to load a track preset. We can say, let's bring in a beats plus vocal track preset. And so you'll see it brings in everything we need to make a beat and put a vocal on top of it. Um, so we could drag, if you're working with a stereo file someone sent you of a beat, you can drag that in here and you can add the vocal here. Or let's say we also want to record drums. We can get to that by hitting T, pressing new lo or load track preset, and we can say, let's do the drum kit. Okay, this did very similar to what we had before. It loaded in a folder with a bus, um, and it also gave us, loaded in a reverb channel, and it has a send on each of them, and each of the channels has their own plugin. So we can immediately start going to work recording a drum kit or doing or bringing our tracks in, whatever you want to do. Uh, here's another one that's really cool. If you get into the instrument section, let's say you want to just program some acoustic drums, for example. You select that one, it gives you everything you need to do that. So these channels over here were just brought in. Actually, I think it's all of these here here, I believe. Um, and this allows me to, if I were to open up this instrument that was just created right here, this now has a nice acoustic kit. All the channels are set up, ready to go. So if I really wanted to be nerdy, I could just open up like my caps lock and just start playing drums. Mm, so good. Um, by the way, I cannot figure out a way to I'm not good at playing it that way. Anyway, but it's right there ready for us to go. So hopefully you can see this can apply to a complicated series of channels for guitar tones. Um, if you've got a really cool sound that you created using three different virtual instruments, the splitter tool, um, a bunch of different plugins, several tracks with different weird routing, and it's an amazing sound that you know you want to use again, you can save that as an entire track preset. So that's the difference here that we've not had before. Instead of just saving what's on a single channel, you can save a whole group. If it takes all these groups to create this amazing sound, you can now save them all as a track preset and then load that up as much as you want. And yes, if you, you may have seen this already, if you look over in the browser, the track presets are right here, and of course we can just drag and drop that sucker right into a session, just like that. So drag and drop is of course available on this as well. Great new feature, I'm excited to see, to explore it more for myself, find different uses, because it's a very specific use case that I think is very cool. So let us know how you're using track presets. If you haven't upgraded to Studio One version 6 yet, it's a free upgrade for Sphere members. So if you join Persona Sphere, that's the least, that's the easiest way to get into version 6 for the least amount of money. So go check that out on our website. Link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. See you.